Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pete. And I am just finishing up for the day and doing some salmon. This is going to be part two. The first one was salmon brine. And this is going to be dehydrating salmon. I've done it before um, in some videos, but I, I figured I'd do it like a tighter kind of series. Um, so this is the second step. So I've soaked this salmon for 24 hours in rock salt and brown sugar. And you can see the pieces. Oh man, they look delicious. Look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I like doing batches this big because it fills up the smoker. And when I open the door and the smoke comes out, <coughs> excuse me, I, I really like looking at a big old, big old amount of salmon. Every tray having some on it is, it, it's just, it feels nice. <laughs> So, um, that, that pretty much covers it. I'm going to coat each uh, tray or rack with some uh, nonstick oil, and that really helped last time. Really helped. Uh, none of it stuck too bad. Some of it did a little bit, but in the past, when I didn't use the nonstick, it would actually break the plastic. There's, there's some kind of chemical <laughs> in the salmon skin. It's like glue. So... Uh, I'm going to spray it down liberally over sawdust because on a concrete floor when you spray nonstick through the <laughs> through the trays it makes for a pretty dangerous spot. <laughs> I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> Some of the salmon is going to go with the box that I made for my buddy House of Fire 72 and one thing um, I'll have to backtrack a little. I'm, I'm working on this desk for a client of mine who I've done a lot of work for in, in his house and um, uh, he offered in exchange for me doing this for an auction for uh, for a charity event. Um, he's going to help me with some marketing and some tips that he gave me that I, I really really am appreciative um, for him offering. Um, one of them was to number and sign uh, with a wood burner all of the uh, all of the things that I make um, <clears throat> that that aren't necessarily for like work or a job, but things that I make you know as art. Um, out of wood um, to number it. So that box that I made that's going out to my buddy, um, House of Fire 72, I'm going to number this. Believe it or not, this is the first box I've made. <laughs> so dude, you got the, you've got the, the lucky distinction of owning a Peter Molman number one <laughs> uh, handmade box. And uh, I'm going to sign it somewhere on the box itself with the number one. So man, that's I think that's... Uh, I, I agree with them that numbering and signing things is, a, is an important thing. So this is my first box and I'm really, I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of pleased about that idea of numbering and signing things. So anyway, uh, with this box, I'm going to send out some of this batch of smoked salmon. So part two will follow tomorrow. Hope you guys are well. Cheers and talk to you next time.